Howdy, howdy, folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again. Welcome back to another NASCAR Diecast review. And Chase Elliott fans are going to remember this paint scheme probably for the rest of his career because uh, he kind of played Demolition Derby with Denny Hamlin at the Coke 600 with it. This is the paint scheme he drove when he hooked Hamlin into the fence, or the wall, and got suspended. And Corley Joy, well, drove his car. So, pretty uh, important moment of his career because... I don't think he just, I don't know, this season, 2023 was just a dumpster fire for Elliott. I don't think he was fully healed, and clearly he was not, he was not in the right mojo that, that year. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and open up out of the box. Alrighty, folks, we're out of the good old box uh, from our friends over there at Circle B Diecast, guys. Make sure to head over there next time you're shopping for some diecasts. You can use that promo code. Details down below to help you save on shipping. And uh, let's dive into this review. So looking over here at the hood of the car, you have the Napa Auto Parts decal. This is a very, very awesome paint scheme, I might add. Yes, it doesn't have the traditional uh, Napa yellow, but it has that patriotic red, uh, kind of a, not a bright red, but a medium tone red, the white, and the kind of a dark navy blue. And man, these Napa patriotic cars, when they nail it, oh, it's so good. Epic looking race car. Just, just a shame he took himself out. Like, rule number one of stock car racing, learn how to wreck someone without wrecking yourself. <laughs> I'm uh, just kidding. Anyways, you got uh, the patriotic uh, front windshield banner there. This was Rant the Coke 600, so you're going to have that. You have your uh, Louisville decals on the Napa logo. Go to the front of the car. Go to the red number nine. Definitely reminds you of the A Shock number nine, which is a shame. They only lasted two years. Like, how the heck did A Shock only last two years with Chase Elliott? They had some of the most bomb looking paint schemes ever. I'm just saying. His 2021 A Shock car, his 2022 A Shock car. If you don't have those in 164 scale, even his A-Shock truck paint scheme. Heck, I think they even made an A-Shock late model die cast for it. Check them out. Awesome looking stuff. Sunoco, Sunoco, Hendrick Motorsports. Go left side of the paint scheme. Now, I don't know what the Biff, the design really is. Is it a star? Is it a, I don't know, a jet fighter? I don't know what the Biff it is, but it looks cool, right? <laughs> it just looks cool. Uh, you have the little design here, here, even on the front. A very well proportioned paint scheme, and then it's kind of cool seeing the uh, the stripe behind the Chase Elliott name, you know, just kind of halfway through it. That's kind of cool. I got Kelby Blue Book. Oh gosh, don't even get me started on that KBB car. They're gonna probably bring the exact same paint scheme back for 2024 because they know I can't stand it. Uh, I got Valvoline, Nap Auto Parts. I don't know if that's accurate to how it's sloped. That might be accurate, probably is. Uh, I got Universe there, Lumar. Coca-Cola, Hooters, number nine, uh, 75th anniversary, NASCAR salutes, good year. It is crazy to think that he did not win a single race in 2023. That's That was not on anybody's bingo cards, I don't think, because he made the Final Four in 2022, and he won five races, I believe. Yeah, it was five races, I believe, with the next-gen car. So all the signs are showing that he would be more than capable of winning at least a race. To the right side of this die cast here, you can just see just how beautiful this paint scheme is, guys. The red, the blue, the white. It, it's very patriotic, but it's kind of subtle. You know, a lot of the patriotic cars, they have bright red. And it's kind of nice to see a little bit of a darker red to kind of mix it up. And I just did a fantastic job with this paint scheme. I would like to see a Checkers or Wreckers version of it, but here's the reality of it. If they did make a Checkers or Wreckers variant of this die cast, guys... It would probably just be 100% cosmetic and have a bunch of fake, goofy decals to make look make the, the whole car look like it's wrinkled. I, I gotta be honest with you. There's a couple of things. And th th this is just me being crazy. I know, I'm crazy. And, and this this is just my own opinion. I respect everyone's opinions, guys. There's a couple things in the diecast market that I'm just not a fan of, personally. One of them is the, the wreckers or checkers with cosmetic damage. Um... They proven that in 1997 with Dale Earnhardt's uh, Daytona flip car that they can make a damaged casting mold. Go look it up. It's actually damaged flip car uh, that was made. It looks unbelievable. I actually have that car sealed in package. It's amazing. I don't like cosmetic damage cars like the 2014 Dale Jr. car. I, 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 I would rather take a Dremel and chew up my own die cast with it and modify it and make it realistic. That's just me. That's just me. Right? I, I'm, I'm the one crazy cat who collects these things. <laughs> that thinks that way. Another thing that I'm not really keen on is autographs. I, I gotta be honest with you. I 
really don't care about autographs. Maybe I'm crazy. Like, if I went to the racetrack, which I've, I've went to the racetrack before, um, if they had autograph sessions, I wouldn't go to them. I just have no interest in autographs. I have no interest in getting a die cast sign, getting a hero card sign. I just don't don't collect autographs. It does nothing for me, right? Same thing about the checkers or records line. Um, some scrapage and stuff, that's cool. That's great. I love that because we see that on our raced versions. But when like a whole fender is missing and it's just cosmetic, that's what would bug me. So if they did make a checkers or records of this car, it probably would look really bad. Uh, considering the amount of damage it'd probably be on it. Uh, I would rather just take a stock one like this, get a Dremel, and for you younger fans, you got to be extremely careful with it. Don't do it on your own. Uh, but uh, take a Dremel, and I, I, I would have fun uh, tearing this car up. <laughs> so anyways, enough of me ranting about random stuff. I'm telling you, man, I'm weird. <laughs> Over here ranting about autographs and uh, cosmetic detail to a die cast, but get the the Napa Network. I have no idea if that's for uh, Twitter slash X or is that for Facebook, MySpace, whatever the biff it is. I'm kidding. Uh, you got Ellie on the back window, Napa Auto Parts on the deck lid. But yeah, absolutely recommend this diecast. Uh, is it better than last year's? You know, I'm looking at last year's patriotic car and I got to be honest with you. I like this one more. Um, the 2022 car kind of have just this random like cutout for the Napa logo and it, it just didn't flow as well in my opinion this one just flows better you just have this like slanted half star or whatever the biff it is i don't know why it's quirky but it looks good it looks good it's a nice two-tone paint scheme i like the inverted uh number color you know white on the doors and red on top i like that looks really good uh, it's a very nice patriotic car i i definitely recommend it i wish it was metallic blue i think that would look really dope but dark metallic shimmery blue love that that'd be cool maybe some chrome uh numbers that might look a little bit different you know if they could do like a uh maybe red chrome on the roof that'd be cool obviously they don't do top chrome i wish they did but uh that, that's all for now fellas make sure to like comment and subscribe highly recommend this diecast it is available in that four pack so if you want all the hendrick patriotic cars you can get it then i prefer the individual boxes myself because you could store them uh, a little bit differently and i like that i don't like a tray where if I want to take one die cast out, I got to pull all of it out. And then these are a little bit more fun to display because they have the name and all that good jazz. So that's all for now. Die cast buffet. Signing off.